In this video, we're actually going to be able to calculate um, the average atomic mass um, for some elements, some isotopes, okay? So remember, um, this right here is the average atomic mass on every periodic table <clears throat> um, underneath at the very bottom. There's an average atomic mass for every single element because it's an average. It's going to be a weighted average for all isotopes of that element. And so um, scientists, it's not like these numbers are just random and they put, scientists put them on the periodic table. Um, they actually used a calculation that we, that we use almost every day. That's how her, that's how our uh, grades are calculated. It's the same process. Okay. Um, so what that equation looks like you know, the average, I'm going to do it in terms of just like a value. I don't want to say the mass. But here, what you do is you take the value of your first one and you multiply, you multiply it by the relative abundance. And I'll talk about what that is in just a second. The relative abundance of that value. Then you take your next value, multiply it by its relative abundance, and then you however many that you have then you continue it sometimes it's two sometimes it's three you might have ten sometimes okay so that's how you do that and so what the relative abundance is it's actually the decimal form of the percent okay now please note all of those relative abundances must add up to one okay because if we think about percentages is out of 100 percent and so if we talk about the relative abundance talking about the decimal form so for example 20 percent the relative abundance of that is 0 0.20 so why do we have to put into a relative um, abundance form the reasoning for this i like to use this example so let's say you go out to dinner and it's 20 bucks and you want to tip the waitress 20 percent well you don't just do 20 times 20 because that's 400 that does not make sense so what you do is you take this into the relative abundance 0 0.20 so now when you do the math 20 times 0 0.20 it ends up being four dollar tip okay so here we have to put in the decimal form um, when you're multiplying or dividing a percent, you have to put in the decimal form, okay? All right, so let's do an example on how we would actually do this. So let's talk about neon. Neon has two isotopes. All right, so we have neon 20 and we have neon 22. And again, an isotope is just same number of protons, just a different amount of neutrons. <clears throat> so here, um, the atomic mass for neon 20 is 20 AMU. Sometimes you'll actually get some decimals, some easier problems. They'll just like keep it as a whole number. Um, but let's say I had like this value. I don't know. I'm just making something up. You would use this value, not this value. Okay. So we have 20 AMU and we have 22 AMU. So if I told you that for neon 20, it's um, percent abundance in nature is 90% and neon 22, it's 10%. And again, this equals up to 100 because we're talking about all of the neons in the world, okay? So looking back at our equation, all right, we're going to need to take the value and multiply by the relative abundance plus the next one multiplied by its relative abundance. So here I'm going to divide by 100. I get 0 0.90, 0 0.10. This equals up to 1, which is what I need. So here I'm going to take 20 AMU, multiply by its relative abundance plus 22 AMU multiplied by 0 0.10. Put that in your calculator. You should get that the average atomic mass ends up being 20.2 AMU.
And sometimes you have to think about these problems if you're taking a weighted average. You have 20 and 22. Your answer needs to be in between 20 and 22. Let's say you end up getting, I don't know, 42. That does not make sense, okay? I have students that do these problems and let's say they end up like multiplying instead of adding. And it's just like, just think about it. Like, would you actually get 46 or 100,000 or something like that? So the value needs to be in between those two values. All right, let's do a, um, why don't, um, why don't you guys try an example, okay? So here, let's say we have potassium. Oops, can't spell. All right, let's determine its average atomic mass. So let's say the first one, it's 39, and its mass is 38.964 AMU. And the reason why some of these questions will be like this, this is the, this is, you know, talking about the actual um, AMU of that element. Because this is a whole number, remember, um, when we did our determining protons, neutrons, electrons, this is number of protons plus number of neutrons. So that's why that value is a whole number on like this value, okay? Bell's ringing. Okay, then the next one is um, potassium 41. Its value is 40.962 AMU. So the percent abundance for uh, potassium 39 is 93.12. And then for 41, it's 6.88%. So try this problem, pause the video, see how you do, okay? All right, so assuming that you guys tried it. Here, this ends up being 0 0.9312. This ends up being 0 0.0688. This is where I see students mess up. It's right here. Um, they end up making it 0 0.688 instead of the 0 0.0688. So be careful. Okay, um, if you don't want to divide in your calculator, you just have to move the decimal twice over. Okay, um, so here let's do our um, calculation. So I'm going to take the mass of the first one, multiply it by the relative abundance. Then I'm going to add the next one and multiply by its relative abundance. And so something to think about, since this is 93.2% and this is only 6.88%, our value is going to be closer to this one instead of this. My guess it's still going to be in the 30s, okay? It's going to be 39 something. So here after calculating you should find out it's 39.10 AMU. Okay, and again, if you got a value that's like 500, you did it wrong. You did it wrong, okay? All right, now this is going to be a very hard problem that we're going to do. Um, everyone is either in algebra or has taken algebra. This is a very hard problem. So let's say we have lithium. And I'm actually going to give you the average atomic mass right now. 6.941 AMU. So we actually have two lithiums that we're going to work with, lithium-6, which is 6.0151. And we have lithium-7, which is 7.0160. All right. We need to determine the relative abundance of both of these. Okay. So the math is going to get a little weird. So let's set up, and I'm going to use the variables um, X and Y for the relative abundance. So here we know the average atomic mass. I'm going to take the mass of the first one, X plus 7.0160Y. Um, okay, so if you remember the beginning of my notes, I said that the relative abundance should equal to 1 in the end. So here we're going to have two equations. We have this one, and we're also going to have x plus y equals 1. Okay, so you probably are starting to figure out 
how we can approach this problem. It's going to be difficult, especially if you're not really handy with um, algebra, but hang tight. We're going to work this one out together. So here, I like to get y by itself first. So I'm going to subtract x to the other side, and I get y equals 1 minus x. This is where students mess up. Students will put y equals x minus 1. Do not do that. Do not. Uh-uh. It needs to be 1 minus x. Okay? So here, I'm going to plug in. Ooh, I just used the eraser. I apologize. I'm going to plug this in right here so I can get rid of that y. So now my equation becomes oops okay so now we're just working with the variable x we can ignore y because I could oh, this doesn't look pretty at all this looks a little bit better it's not pretty but it's still better okay so I'm gonna factor this out Okay, now I'm going to get like terms. So I'm going to add these together, and I'm going to add these together. And please note, I'm going to have to subtract this to the other side. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys made it to class today. Um, I will say the date is the 4th, so my Thursday kids, I hope you guys uh, made it to class. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see what we have right now. Good morning, Rockford. Oh, great. Sorry about that. Okay, so you'll end up getting negative 0 0.75 and then negative 1.0009x. Don't forget about those negatives. They'll, they'll cancel out. We can get rid of them now. Okay, and now I'm going to divide by 1.009. You should get that x <clears throat> is 0 0.0749. Okay, now... We can go back to this equation, plug in this x to figure out what y is. So here, y equals 1 minus this number. We'll end up getting 0 0.9251. So we have just determined that for lithium-6, it is going to be 7.49%. And for lithium-7, it's going to be 92.51% abundance, okay? So these problems can get very tricky, okay? Um, but if you just write out all of your work, you're going to be completely fine. Just you need to watch out for this, okay? Do not put X minus 1. Your math is going to get really weird. I think generally what happens is you get like 99.9% or something. That's generally what happens. Um, and please know that's just wrong. Okay. It's not going to be like that. All right.